Hey everyone, this is Sarah from politicallyincorrecthealth.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make lard. Let me share with you a couple of facts. Well, first of all, lard is high in vitamin D. You can absorb vitamin D from the sun, but most of us do not get enough sun and cannot absorb vitamin D in this way or very easily. So it is good to include lard in your diet. Also, something you probably didn't know is that lard is high in monounsaturated fat. Most people, when they think of lard, they think it is only composed of saturated fat. Lard is 48% monounsaturated fat. When compared to olive oil, lard is actually higher in monounsaturated fat. Also, lard has a high smoke point of 375 degrees, so you can make french fries on your stove top, and let me tell you, they are absolutely delicious in lard. Also, the main fat in lard is called oleic acid, and this is associated with a lowered risk in depression. I've also talked to my grandmother and some other people who are her age, and they used to use lard in their pastries, and they said it made absolutely the best pastries. What you're going to need is something called fat back or the leaf lard, which is found right around the kidneys of the pig. This is a little over three pounds. Mine's still a little cold because I had it previously frozen. I'm just going to cut it into some smaller chunks. And actually the smaller that you cut the fat pieces into, the more large you're going to get out of it. So that's the benefit of doing that. I have my food processor right here. I'm going to feed the pieces right in there and make it really small to get the most fat that I possibly can. Look at that. I don't want to waste any of that fat. Good pastured pork fat. Oh, and you can make it either on the stove top or in a crock pot, which is what I'm going to do because you don't actually have to sit there and babysit it all day like you do if you were to make it on the stove. water here. So when you're making lard, you want to add a little bit of water to it because if you don't, then it could stick to the bottom of the pan and burn it. And you definitely don't want to do that. I'm going to turn it on to low because you don't want it on high and just splattering everywhere. It's going to take a while, so I'll show you that when I come back. Okay, so the lard is finished and it actually didn't take very long because I put it on high in the crock pot, but you can put it on low and it'll take a little longer. I think it's, it's also because I cut it into such small pieces. So what I'm doing is I'm about to string a little hot. I'm about to strain it and I line the strainer with a cheesecloth because I don't want any of the little particles getting through. And what's left are the, the crack ones and they are a nice healthy snack.
you have it. It'll keep for a very long time on the counter or in the fridge, but I recommend putting it in the fridge if you have a lot.